Howdy there, you're here with Faye from Raven Faye Special Effects and today we're just going to go over the application process of the Ryuk prosthetic that I made. Right now I'm just trying to fit his mouth so I can know where to put black underneath to hide his regular mouth. And the product that I'll be using today for painting is European Body Arts Zero G Airbrush and the European Body Art Endura Paint. It's all alcohol based so it's really awesome because it doesn't come off easily. You have to use either alcohol or a makeup remover to take it off. And what you see me doing now is gluing on pre-made fake teeth that I made with fake nails. Just shaped them into sharp teeth and then I'm going to glue them on to go underneath the prosthetic that I made. Sorry, I didn't really have enough time to make any real teeth or close to looking real teeth for the actual prosthetic. All right, now I'm putting this up to his, his face. I've already got Cillabond, which is the prosthetic adhesive that I'm using, also made by European Body Art. And I'm gonna have him hold up the middle of the prosthetic so I can do the outer edges and put the rest of the prosthetic on his face.
Now to blend the edges, I am going to use Witch Hazel because this is a gelatin prosthetic. And you can see how I made this prosthetic in a different tutorial. It's the making of Ryuk, where it's pretty much just how I'm sculpting it and molding it. And then you get this end result. Now you're seeing how I paint it though. But as I said, I'm blending in the edges right now, just putting Witch Hazel on a Q-tip and blending in the edges so there's not a harsh line between his face and the prosthetic. After I had all those edges blended in, what I'm doing is putting a layer of latex over the edges just to hide them a little bit more. I'm probably doing about three or four layers. Now we'll go into painting him. Like I said, I'm going to be using European Body Arts Zero G Airbrush with Endora Paint. And pretty much I'm going to cover him in a white base, do some gray shadowing. <laughs> Halfway through painting, I realized I should get rid of his eyebrows because Ryuk has no eyebrows. So I'm getting rid of them with a glue stick, going against the hair, with the hair, blending them up. Super easy to hide eyebrows. And then here I've got the gray Endura paint and I'm going to hollow out his chest and his collarbone and maybe a little bit of the sides of the cheeks to elongate his face even more than the prosthetic does. So with some alcohol-based palettes, I am going to draw character lines on him to keep it really cartoony. So I'm making sure that they're harsh and thick. Well, not really thick, but just so you can see them and it makes him look more cartoon-like.
And then here, I am going to give him black around the eyes, just to kind of give him more of a sunken in look before we put on the eyeball that we made. So I'm gonna do this on both eyes. And then I'm using a matte blue from QI Best because I knew it would stay on um, lipstick. And I'm gonna just color in his lips using that. And now I'm just coloring in the inside of his mouth black where the prosthetic laid on top of his um, face. Alright, so I'm putting down layer by layer the hair. So I'm putting the spirit gum first, and then I'm laying it on his forehead, tickling it upwards, and then doing another layer. And as I'm doing the layers, I'm doing shorter and shorter, so it ends up like a widow's peak, obviously. Um, pretty much just a triangle. And then I'm going to blend it into the rest of his hair once I'm done. Now that I have the Widow's Peak all done, I'm just gonna go in with the black airbrush paint just to make it look more full and blend it in, make sure it's the right color, same color. And then obviously I wouldn't went a little too crazy with the white, so just covering up where I messed up on that too.
lot of gel plus hair dryer equals standing hair. Yay. Took forever. I'm sure his arm was tired. But we ended up kind of doing Liberty Spikes to kind of obviously spike up his hair like Ryuk's. Alright, and for this part, I really wish that I had the time to make a better costume because obviously it would have looked so much better, but all I had to work with at the time was my paint. So I'm just painting these on by hand. And then we're going to get the rest of his costume on and that'll be it for this. Really hope you enjoyed this video with Faye from Raven Faye Special Effects. Um, if you liked it, subscribe to my channel for more, comment if you have any questions, and as always, check you later.